All right, we are on the fifth installment of videos, I think, on this guy. And what we're doing right now is Travis is up in the in the mini excavator right up there, and that guy there is Kamal. And what Kamal and I are doing is we are going along that passage, that uh, rather that slope, and we're we're putting uh, we're we're grabbing four to eight rock. And for those of you who don't know, what four to eight rock is. I'm gonna come right over here. Four to eight rock is. Uh, Sorry about that. It's rock that pretty much can fit in the palm of my hand, but it's jagged. It has all those, uh, it's angular. And what it, what these jagged pieces are, are, what these angles mean is that <clears throat> two rocks that sit next to one another will eventually wedge themselves together so that they actually create kind of an armor and, and uh, support the bank for against future uh, erosion, I guess. Uh, rather than putting putting pilings or um, or any other kind of support structure in there, we actually just use crushed rock down to four to eight inches. And uh, and what Travis will do is he'll um, we'll smooth that all out so there's no major holes um, or hills, no hills or valleys throughout that whole area. And then we'll make sure we don't have any angular rock down in the water along here, so that the fish might might uh, cut their bellies open when they go to spawn. This is definitely spawning habitat. And then we'll, we'll repeat that entire thing along this entire bank. Repeat that whole thing along this entire bank. And, uh, and that brings us to what's going on over here. This area here is where uh, they, uh, the, the excavator blew a hyd hydraulic line. Now what, what's kind of cool is the fact that uh, that some machinery out there uses hydraulic fluid. Um, we've got hydraulic fluid in, in almost all of our machines, well, in all of our machines. Um, what's interesting about our machines is that it's not hydraulic fluid anymore, it's vegetable oil. So when, when Travis blew a hydraulic line and, uh, and made the, and, uh, the equipment kind of went, went down for the day, it, it sprayed him, unfortunately, with vegetable oil as well as the rest of the equipment, but no hydraulic oil went into the drink. So, so the environment was kept clean. Now, we don't want a whole lot of vegetable oil in the, in the river or in the environment, but it's, uh, it's kind of a better, uh, better solution, and it does the same job as hydraulic oil, I'm told. I'm not a mechanic, so I'm going to put that disclaimer out there. So that is it. We've, uh, we, finished this, um, we finished building this wall. We've opened it up a little bit so that Travis can come through when it when the excavator is complete, um, when the work in the excavator is completed, and build a rock spur right here, which looks like that one coming out about 10 feet, 10 by 10, give or take. Uh, and then he'll do that, and then we'll start with the smaller rock going all the, or bigger rock rather going all the way up to the smaller stuff, little two-inch angular stuff to the roadbed. So that's where we're at. All right, till next time.